Hi, everybody. Hope you had a good weekend. Uh, a couple definitions in the first video and then three terms in the second one. Uh, first one's perpendicular bisector. And so think about what perpendicular means. It means that it forms right angles. Bisector means that it cuts in half. Okay. Forms right angle, cuts in half. Here's the book definition. A line perpendicular to a segment at its midpoint. Now, there's a couple things going on there. Okay. So you got to be, be able to draw a line to see it. Uh, that's perpendicular to this line that goes to the middle of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plot the middle of it, which is about, I don't know, about right there. And let's call it M. Okay. And then I'm going to draw a segment. I could draw a line if I wanted to, but I'm going to draw a segment that looks like it's pretty perpendicular. I'm just drawing this freehand here. And that looks pretty decent. So um, I need to mark it. And always, that's one thing that I want all four of my geometry classes to make sure that we do a good job of is marking your drawings. So how do I mark it perpendicular? Well, you have perpendicular lines form right angles. So I put that little box there. I don't have to put it over here because these are a linear pair. And if this is 90, doesn't that have to be 90? There's a theorem that speaks to that. Now, there's one more thing that I need to do to properly mark this drawing. It's perpendicular to a segment at its midpoint. Well, you called it M, Fiedler. Doesn't that mean it's the midpoint? No. To show that it's the midpoint, I need to put in tick marks here. Okay. There is a properly marked perpendicular bisector. Okay. Make sure you study that and know what that phrase means. Okay. Next one. Distance from a point to a line. And this is strongly related to perpendicular bisector, although it doesn't say it. It says it's the length of the perpendicular segment from the point to the line. Okay, so pretend this line goes on and on. So we're not going to be able to bisect it in half because it goes in all directions. But it is, this is kind of close to that perpendicular bisector definition because we're going to draw a perpendicular from point A to that line. And our definition says that the shortest distance from this point A has to be drawn perpendicular to the line. And that's it. That's our two definitions. Thanks.